Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be chatting about all things homeschool. This is kicking off our homeschool series and in today's video, we're focusing solely on our read aloud and fall through December book selection. So these are gonna be some of our chapter books that we are gonna be reading together as a family. All right, mama. So again, this is our homeschool video. And I wanted to start by saying, um, start off this video by saying that I am not a seasoned homeschool professional. I am just a mom with a passion for teaching my children. And I am passionate about what type of information they are consuming. And due to several circumstances, this will be our first year homeschooling. And I am so excited. Um, so yeah, this video, I'm just going to be chatting about some of the books. I'm going to show you what they are. Um, I'll leave a link to my Amazon store in this video description. So you can go ahead and check out any of the um, any of the books that I chat that I talk about in this video. Okay, so let's get into it. All right, like I said, um, I'm gonna just be showing you some of our book selections. So I have here some longer form um, chapter books that we're gonna be doing for read alouds and um, just a different mix as well. So I'll just jump right into it. All right, cool. So I grabbed. I really had. I've been doing. I was doing a lot of research. On some books to teach that teach really good history but that are um, good with facts as well as um, pictures so we grabbed this who is book um, and I grabbed this from Amazon this one specifically is Barack is about Barack Obama and one of the important things um, this year for us is voting and so we wanted to grab this book to teach our kids obviously they know who um, Barack Obama is but we wanted to get something that they can easily grab and go ahead and um, learn about so this will be a good one to have AJ has been really interested in the solar system so one of our unit studies um, one of our shorter unit studies is going to be about the solar system and so I grabbed this one it has pictures within it as you can see so it has no color which I would have liked for it to have color but again this book was only I don't even know $4.99 so pretty good book for us to have here um, and then I'm going to start by showing you just the two books that the kids are going to be reading um, um, for their independent reading in the month of September. Okay, so AJ is, um, he really liked the Ivy and Bean books. Um, and I let him choose his own book. So this is a book that he is going to be reading. Um, he, again, he's in the, he's going to be going into the fifth grade. Um, but um, he really likes books that have like funny characters, uh, you know, really kooky boys and boy stuff, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I don't really even know what that means. But yeah, so this is the book that he chose. It is The Best of 80. I grabbed this one at um, Barnes and Nobles. Okay, so then Brooke, we got her the Judy Moody book. This is a chapter book. Um, these are cha they're chapter books inside of here but they are for younger readers. Um, and I'm glad we grabbed this book for her because um, she liked some of the Judy Moody books when she was in a regular classroom. And this one just gives her the opportunity to really um, expand in the series. And then they also have, obviously, um, Judy Moody has uh, chapter books that we're gonna also hopefully get her into as well. So this was her selection. I let, again, I, for their first independent unit um, reading sessions, I let them choose their own books to kind of let them feel freedom in their choices. All right, so now I'm gonna get into the read alouds that we have for the fall. Um, I think this is everything here, but I could still be waiting for more orders and I just wanted to get this video up, okay? All right, cool. So this is in no particular order. I'll be doing another video about um, our read alouds specifically and the order that we're going to be going through them and details and things like that. So stay tuned for that video. Make sure you just subscribe so you can get a notification when it comes out. All right, so we have Ronald Dahl, Matilda here. I thought this would be a fun one for us to try because there is a movie to go along with it. I love this movie when I was a kid, especially the part where um, the kid ate all the cake and 
Um, they got back at Miss Trenchful and was scaring her. So I think it'd be really fun. Um, we love magic in this house. So I thought it would be really cool to kind of incorporate this classic. I'm calling it a classic because it came out forever ago. Um, I'm calling this a classic and we're going to get into doing this as a read aloud. So that'll be fun because we'll watch the movie. Um, we are ch we chose the woke homeschooling curriculum, and one of the first books um, for that curriculum. If you don't know about it, I'll leave a link to that as well. It's a super amazing um, curriculum by a black mom who um, is really empowering homeschoolers and just ed educators and parents about um, African American history um, the right way. So um, yeah, this is the book from one of the books from this curriculum. It's called Seeds Behind Trees. I've not read this book, but it is a part of the curriculum. So we will be um, going into that. I'll read a little bit about what it's about. So you can see, no matter how hard he tries, nearsighted walnut just, can't, just can't earn his adult name the way other boys do by hitting a target with a bow and arrow. With his highly developed other senses, however, he shows he can see what can't be seen and earns a new name, Seas Behind Trees. So this is going to be exploring what life is like for natives um, in this um, in this country. Um, and I'm excited to jump into this because we're gonna just be learning about just history in a fun, realistic way that's, um, that children can really understand and kind of get behind these stories. So I'm excited about this one as well. One of our other read alouds. So we're um, going to go right into The Mouse and the Motorcycle. I thought this would be really fun. Beverly, clearly, I read this book when I was younger. Um, and I thought it would be cool to kind of bring in animal culture into the house. The kids love Stuart Little and things with little animated characters. So I thought this would be a fun adventure book. Okay. And then um, this one. Uh, oh, my God. Look at the cover. This is so beautiful um one of my favorite movies as a child um was a little princess and so this is on our read aloud list the books that i just started showing you are our read aloud books and i'm excited to jump into this one i think it'll be great for the colder season um the colder seasons so to just snuggle up with the book right here on the couch and read and really get into it my daughter really liked the movie um i we were like i just i was like girl this was my favorite movie <laughs> so i really want you to read it um watch the movie with me and she did and she enjoyed it so i'm excited for us to read this together as a family and and tackle it i'm excited it's a little long um so i don't know um if we'll get through all of this um by december um but we'll see what happens um so the next one we're gonna be reading is charlotte's web this is i'm calling this a classic Again, whoever makes the standard list of classics, I don't know. But this, um, and shockingly, I've never read Shower's Web. Okay, so we are going to get into Charlotte's Web this year. Again, we really love, as a family, the animal books and characters and kind of exploring that. So this will be a good one for us to tackle as a family. Again, I never read it, so I'm excited. I know that it has... I know that it is a great book and I know all the reviews and how could I possibly not have read it by now, but I'm excited to get into this. One of the books um, that we ordered that I'm um, at the time of the shooting is not here, but I will list it in my book list as well. And that is One Crazy Night. I'm excited to get into that book. It's about um, three sisters who travel from New York to California and it's around the time of riots and so they talk about their experience there they're looking for their mother who abandoned them and I'm really excited because um, about getting into that book because of the climate that we're in but also just because it celebrates and it puts um, black children into these stories in a really um, beautiful way um, so I don't have that book to show you but I will link it in the description um, so we're going to be reading that one. It's actually our second on our reading read along list. And again, when I do that video, I'll have it to show you. So stay tuned for that. Um, this is the last read aloud that I have. It's called The Vanderbeekers of 141st Street. 
right? So um, this is about some children who live in a building in New York City. My kids, we are from New York City. We just moved to Georgia and they are really missing um, Brooklyn. So I wanted to kind of like get some stories to kind of highlight um, New York culture as well. So these kids live in this building in Harlem and basically they're going to get evicted um, from their um, from their home and so the children basically are trying to find a way to not get evicted from their apartment so I think it'll be fun it'll be interesting for the kids to see hear and read and kind of go explore I grew up in Harlem so I'm hoping to get some a little bit of nostalgia um, from this book as well so super excited to have this one on the shelf okay so the next book that I'm going to show you is it's near and dear to my heart. Uh, when I saw this book, um, I knew that I had to have it for the kids. It is I Am, I Can, 365 Affirmation for Kids. And this book is just what it says. Um, but I love the diversity that's celebrated within just the cover. And when I say diversity, I don't just mean different colors. I mean different shapes, different sizes, um, just all differences being celebrated right here on this page. Um, and on this cover so I thought it was really cool but it's essentially a visual affirmation book okay so in here you go through and it's teaching your kids to really utilize that inner voice um, if you follow me on Instagram you know that I'm all about affir um, affirmations affirming myself affirming my children and this is a really great tool to add to our social emotional library so I'm excited to to show this um, to the kids essentially it's supposed to be like one affirmation a day it goes through every month so like this is January um, what month is this is April um, so you know it teaches mindfulness in a way that kids can really understand so we have a little peace corner for um, our kids that we are building and this will be right there easily available for them to pick up grab and engage with whenever they want so I'm excited um, the next two are some workbooks that I picked up. Um, we have more stuff coming in, but these two are logic books for grades two and three to five to six. So these are um, quizzes and puzzles and exercises for just to encourage um, creativity, language, poetry, mathematics, logical thinking, um, all different types of skills. These books came highly, highly recommended. As you can see, there's a lot of questions in here puzzles that your kids will be going through to kind of unpack and uncover logical thinking critical thinking that i don't really um think that i've seen that much of inside of uh, public school programming but i'm really excited to go through these with the kids so they can actually you know begin to utilize some of these lessons to help them con um, conceptualize some things um different some different things um great so that'll be cool We'll use these for like morning work time or just filler for um, from curriculum. And finally, what I have here with me today are our writing skills books. So I have grade two and I have grade five. Those are the grades that my children are in. These are the Harcourt family learning books, um, family learning um, books. So these ones I picked up specifically after doing some research about um, writing. We really want the kids to fall, um, have, have and foster a love of writing. And so we have blocked out in our um, school rhythm some time for them to just do some work um, workbooks and to kind of go through some worksheets on writing to kind of develop that writing muscle. Specifically for my son, it'll be that descriptive writing and creative writing. Um, so he uses anchor charts and lots of other tools, but this will just be another way to kind of boost um, what he will also be learning. There's some supplemental material. Um, the second great one goes through writing sentences, personal stories, and letters. It also goes through some other things in here as well. Um, but again, I love that these books have color in them. They have writing prompts. The letter one will be so fun. Brooke is really excited to start having a pen pal. So yeah, this book is just one of the many supplemental educational books that I have. If you want me to do a full video on supplemental um, workbooks that we are using for this school year, 
please let me know in the comments. All right, guys, so if you like this video and would like me to do more of these homeschool curriculum content, I will be releasing videos as often as I can. I wish I could tell you that I'm gonna do one every week, but it might be one week you get three videos, or you might not get a video next week and you'll get one the week after. I wear several turbans, okay? I wear several, several hats. And so I'm trying my best to get the content out there for you, dedicating my morning times to creating this content for moms like you who are looking to just have some type of plan or support and advice through this homeschooling program, um, through this homeschooling time some of you are doing virtual or homeschool or whatever it is that you're choosing to do for your family i hope that we can just build a community of supporting and loving one another through that and again i'll see you guys next time mm -hmm.